Coach Tim here in Dominican. Uh, Tim, I guess no words can describe, I'm sure, the feeling that you have right now, just battling as hard as you could uh, to fall 55-52 here in the quarterfinals to Point Loma. Um, first, uh, an introduction of your player you brought along with you, and then just some opening comments. Um, Lex, a uh, freshman point guard for us, uh, plays a one and two, played a great game tonight, and uh, just came up a little bit short. Your thoughts about that when you, you fall behind by 19, but then, wow, just a tremendous rally. Down nine late, once again, you rally. It just, uh, just one basket short. Yeah, it's been uh, you know, the character of our team to battle to the end, no matter what the, the scoreboard. And they did it again tonight. I was really proud of that effort. You know, Point Loma came out and got a hot start, and um, that ended up being the difference. What was it like out there? I mean, it seemed like uh, you were, you know, working incredibly hard. Shots were falling for you. Um, even when you were down by double digits, I, you, you had a never say, say die attitude, right? Yeah. I just felt like both teams fought really hard. I mean, it is a championship. It shows who wants it more. And I just guess we just fell short and our shots just weren't falling for everyone. But we really played our hearts out. and. I was just really proud of my team. What did your coach say to you, uh, you know, when things were not going your way early on and you did fall behind by 19, but you just never gave up? He told us to keep chipping it short. Like, we'll make our way back to it. Uh, we shouldn't hang our heads. We could come back. We've came back from a 18 lead, and our team is really good at never giving up, pushing each other, and just staying confident. And then your thoughts about it, uh, they were obviously playing with tremendous energy and really frenetic, and yet you were able to turn that around. You, your team never lost their poise. Yeah, I think uh, defense uh, effort really triggered it for us. Uh, we were able to get a lot of stops and um, get some good looks offensively. They just weren't falling the way they usually do tonight. And, you know, some of that uh, is definitely credit to Point Loma's defense also. What a year that it's been for you. Uh, one of the best years that you've had here and you know, getting into the regional rankings. Um, you, you just have to be so proud of this tremendous Penguin team. Yeah, thank you. We are We're very proud of the team. It was uh, you know, an awful year last year for both the returners and um, you know, newcomers coming in. Uh, you know, we only played a handful of games. So to be able to play a, a full season and have a championship opportunity, uh, we're very grateful. You know, one of the one of the toughest things is to recognize that you may not have, you know, every player available to play, and you have to make some you know tough decisions about whether or not uh, you're able to play them. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, you know, Riley, our top player, uh, scorer and rebounder, um, injured her knee last game, and um, you know, the, the doctor. Uh, looked at it, and um, we just didn't want to put her in a situation that wasn't good for her or the team. Um, but boy, what a what a great year she had, and it's just sad that it ended this way. But uh, I know she's grateful. We're grateful that she uh, had the year that she did and, and helped this team the way she did. It's going to be uh, leaving a legacy uh, where she may be able to play at, an, at the next level. Yeah, she certainly put herself in that position. She's also getting her master's degree, so her, her future is very bright. That is great. Well, the Dominicans program is very bright. You've got some great players coming through, and I'm sure that you're going to remember this as a tremendous season. Thank you. We will. All right. Congratulations. Thank you.